hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna try out a makeup technique that's been viral recently which is called the under painting and this is how the skin looks after i've done the under painting method on myself and if you want to know whether i liked it or not if it worked out or not and the whole entire process then please to continue watching So the first thing that I did is prime my skin using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. It's a tacky kind of a primer and also makes your skin look very dewy. I've been really enjoying this primer a lot. This helps your makeup to just stick onto your skin and not budge throughout the day. And yeah, I really, really enjoy this. Then I'm going to do the underpainting for which I'm taking two different concealers. One is a lighter shade. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer in 380W. And here my skin is already color corrected before I start the underpainting. So now I'm just applying the Rare Beauty light shade of concealer on the areas where I generally highlight my skin after using my foundation. But in this case, um, I'm applying the concealer without any foundation and just straight away onto the skin right after color correction. And now I'm going to take my pack takeover concealer in the shade hot cocoa which is a dark contouring shade on my skin tone so i'm just applying that wherever i generally contour and bronze up my skin such as the hollows of the cheeks the perimeter of my forehead the jawline around the mouth and also to contour my nose as well once i've applied the both the shades of concealers i'm just gonna blend out the lighter shade of concealer first using my pack 219 concealer blending brush even if it is not very um, clean and blended extremely perfectly blended that's okay because you are gonna apply the foundation next on top of this now i'm gonna move on to blending the cream contour for which i'm using this real techniques contour brush and it's such a beautiful brush to blend the contour so yeah i'm just doing that slowly and gently i'm using the same brush to blend out the contour around the mouth as well as the nose area and after blending out the concealer and contour and this is how the base looks it looks a little unfinished but then i decided to add a little bit of blusher as well uh, before applying the foundation so this is the revolution super dewy blush in a dark rusty brown shade i'll put the shade name in the description box but that's what i use on the tops of my cheekbones and taking it up until the temples and um just blending everything out it, it doesn't have to be perfect like i said even if it's a little unblended that's okay because we're gonna apply the foundation on top and that's gonna make everything even For foundation, I'm using one of my favorite foundations. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Skin Foundation in Y445. And just gonna work the foundation on the back of my hand like so on my Real Techniques um, Multitasker brush, I think it's called. And just taking a little amount of the foundation and starting to apply it on my entire face. For this technique, you really won't require much of the foundation. Just a little bit of foundation does the job and that's how beautiful and flawless the skin looks you have your contour blusher highlight everything on yet the skin looks so flawless and natural that's the whole point of under painting and here is the skin after finishing off the entire face of makeup and as you can see the base looks extremely flawless and smooth and professional looking but it's not looking cakey and yet your skin is well defined with your contour highlight blush everything and after using this technique i really loved the makeup that day because it was just looking so so flawless and beautiful i couldn't take my eyes off it was that stunning so i absolutely enjoyed using underpainting and i'm looking forward to use this technique um, in more of my looks so yeah this is such a good technique to follow even if you're a makeup artist you're gonna love this on your clients as well i feel because it adds the right amount of definition to the skin without making it look artificial or cakey which i always love and yeah all the products that i use in this video will be linked in the description box as usual i really hope that you guys found this video useful helpful and enjoyed watching it if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up comment and 
do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos make sure to hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box do let me know what all videos you want to see on my channel next in the comment section i would love to read out your comments and take in your suggestions take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye